In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a pop-up text uh, slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here it comes, I have put the 50%. You can change the text according to your requirement and then uh, it looks like as if this is coming from the bottom up. All right. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. Then go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert text box and you can type any text here. I'm going to type 50% and the font which i'm going to use is arial black and the font size i'm going to make it uh, very big almost like 166 and then make it one uh, size only here and then just make it the center align and put it exactly here in the center you can see here and then go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose uh, this free form shape so free form shape i'm going to start from here all right and then i'm just going to click it here you can see here i'm just clicking like this then i'm just going to click here then one comes here then here You can just see I'm just kind of an outline I'm making and then I'm going to merge this this one. So once you get like this shade, click it and then send this to back. So you can see here I have got this one. Now I'm going to edit this shape. So select the shape, right mouse click and edit point. And you can see here click the bottom point here and then just drag this like this. And here also I'm going to select this one and drag it like this and again select this one drag it this way and here also i'm going to drag like this so i end up getting a shape something like this now you can see here there are some gaps and all those things again right mouse click edit point and you can just adjust this one you can see here you can adjust like this so once this is done i'm going to add few more uh, same uh, freeform shapes so go to insert shapes again i'm going to choose the a free form shape and again I'm going to start from here and then for this one I'm going to add one more here like this you can see here I'm just going to add it and bring it here all right then go and give some different color shape outline make it no outline and then send this to back now again for this right mouse click edit point and this point i'm just going to drag like this and here also like this all right and then i can just align it the way i want you can see here and this also let me just align it properly that's it so again for this shape let me just make it no outline and then i can make it somewhat transparent so go to the format shape and i'm going to increase the transparency you can see here something like this okay and then few other shapes let me just add it here the same thing let me just zoom in go to insert shapes again i'm going to choose the freeform shape and this one i'm going to add one more like this way which is starting from here you can see here and i can just add it like this and again click it here same color shape outline no outline and then send this back so you can see here we got the shape like this and again in the for the zero also you can just add something which is going here same and send to pack all right so we can add one more like this and for here also i'm just going to add it on the right side again go to insert shapes freeform shape i'm going to start from here again i'm going to click it here click here here and then again come back 
so that you can see here the moment i come back it should merge this one so the moment i merge that one it will give this color okay again shape outline no outline send this to back somewhat transparent edit points and then you can edit it the way you want you can see here or if you don't want this point i can simply select and delete point also i can do again let me just align it properly you can see here like this you can do and make it more transparent also so you can see here this way you can make your text you know pop out so go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw one small oval shape at the bottom shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give a black color increase the transparency then go to the effects under soft adjust increase the size you can see here so it looks like it is popping up so now i'm going to select all the shapes except this 50 percent so let me just select ctrl a to select all hold the shift key i'm going to deselect this one and this one and press ctrl g to group it so this has group now you can see here this is group it looks like this so now let me just put this one select the 50 percent close this one go to the animation enable the animation pane and here if you want you can just change the color to white also if you want so it looks something like this okay so now i'm going to select this animation so i'm going to make the animation as a fly in fly in i'm going to choose it from top and double click this one increase the bounce end and click ok so it comes something like this and for this one i'm going to use a wipe and wipe i'm going to make it from top okay and this should happen with previous but we can delay a little bit here so if i play it comes like this so let me just do a slideshow when i click it comes like this all right so if you don't want this one you can just change the text or the percentage and then you have to change this uh background kind of uh, sh uh, shadow also to match with the numbers or the text which you are typing here